Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's, it's really, doing something like this is really very difficult. Hmm. A lot of people don't realize that uh, for an actor, he feels very secure behind that montage of photos that you were showing. Then you're yeah. playing a role, you've got wardrobe, you've got a part to hide behind. But when you come out like this, you really feel completely naked because you have to be yourself. But I want to confess one thing to you. I must say that Dick Cavett is very helpful because just before I went on, he told me that, he says, look, just to remind you, the chair you sit in is the one that I'm not sitting in. So, <laughs> I, well, I, I guess I tend to treat actors like dummies. I exactly. Guess. I didn't mean to. As uh, a matter of fact, I want to interrupt you again, Dick. You know, you said, <laughs> you said on your- uh, It's hard for him, but easy for me tonight. <laughs> You know, you said, uh, I was listening, it was very amusing, and you were jokingly saying you were Kirk Douglas. Now, yeah. on my way to the theater tonight, I was rushing, because I love to walk in New York, and uh, I was a little late, so I was walking rather fast, and somebody from across the street yelled to me, hey, and he ran across, and he said, gee, my favorite actor. And I said, thank you, I'm in a little hurry. He said, you know, I'm so excited and so nervous. He said, your name went right out of my mind. Well, I said, uh, my name's Douglas. Yeah, he says, Douglas Fairbanks, my favorite actor. Oh. So it's very important when you say, you know, it's very important yeah. when, you say, uh, when you say who you are. Yeah, you know, and you, but you do have a beard though, and so uh, there's a little confusion there, I mean, as to whether it's actually you well, or not, because the... Uh, if I wear a beard, Dick, it's because uh, I'm gonna be, I'm either mm -hmm. just going out of a picture or going into another one. Yeah. Or right now, I'll be going into a picture that calls for a beard, and I can't I stand, you know, one of those false, yeah. false beards. I feel I should ask someone of your stature an important question right off the bat, and um, so I will. Carol Burnett was here last night and wanted to know how you clean your dimple <laughs> in, in, in your chin. And, 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 uh, Dick. No, I, I, Dick. I, Burnett. Dick. One, yes. Yes, Mr. D. <laughs> is nothing sacred? No, I, I, I mean, <laughs> I want to get that out of the way right away because... I mean, must there be no secrets between me and me? Well, I, I thought we'd get that out of the way because she as wanted a, to know. Her heart you know, seemed set on it, the uh, silly girl. As a, matter <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact, in a picture I did once with Kim Novak, mm -hmm. that was one of the lines where she kept staring at me. I said, no. what's the matter? She says, how do you shave that? Yeah. Well, the answer's in that picture, Dick. <laughs> so, uh, go back and see the movie and I'll know, I'll know yeah. the answer. There have been all sorts of rumors about it, like something, <laughs> something lives in there and all sorts of <laughs> strange things. And I know you're sick of that. No, so. no. Hey. As a matter of fact, someone once said that there's a little midget with a straight razor who jumps down there and cleans <laughs> it out. I, 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 I'd believe it. Uh, but it isn't. I'm sorry we can't see it because uh, I, I saw your film last night. We'll talk about that later, but it, it is quite a phenomenon, the, the chin. It's, uh, it's there. It's the most, it's, uh, as a matter of fact, it's not really a dimple. Let's face it. It's what? a hole in the chin. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Is it really? Is it? Well, I don't know. I mean, I know that if we could see it, it would be the most cleavage we've had on the show in a long time. <laughs> uh, but enough of that. Now that's over. You know, when you say, is it really? One day I was riding to... Uh, Palm Springs, I have, a, I have a home in Palm Springs, and I was in a little car, and a sailor was, uh, was hitching a ride, and I stopped, and I picked him up, and he looked at me, and he got very excited, and he said, hey, do you know who you are? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> he wanted uh, to that, share something. That is, a, people cannot believe sometimes when they, well, especially a face like yours. Can you go anywhere? Can you, can you go in and buy a spool of thread, for example, and have the <laughs> lady in the dime store not well, no, the last who, time who I are. bought a spool of thread, no one recognized well, me. <laughs> hey, something we got past, and we, I, I thought we ought to do this now. You'd mentioned Kim, Kim Novak and um, all the leading ladies that you've done. There's a, a bit of film that's been sort of assembled that shows the incredible number of women who've passed through your hands. Well, you know, in the, uh, <laughs> in the years. You see, Dick, you know, most people have a, a distorted idea, you know, of a movie actor. I mean, it all seems rather simple, but a lot of people don't realize, for example, if I do, like I worked recently in a picture with Faye Dunaway. Mm -hmm. Now, an actor, I'd have to get up in the morning about 6.30, take a shower, rush through my breakfast, jump in the car, go down to the studio, get into wardrobe and makeup, and then at nine o'clock in the morning, under those hot lights, I'd have to start making love to Faye Dunaway hour after hour oh. after hour. And these are the things that uh, <laughs> actors have to do. <laughs> 
Yes. It's it's awful, but it beats unemployment. I guess. <laughs>